Let me just gut shot you with this to see if it's comparable. Yeah. I need to tuck my chin like him. <laughs> yeah, I need a small. You have a medium. <laughs> It's also too big for you. <laughs> Dude, I got these man hands. Yeah, geez. Does, does that mean? Does that mean if we were fighting, you'd be scared of me? No. Maybe like a little bit though. Not even. Maybe. What about the soft yes. I think that should work. You can't really see out of it, can you? Yeah, that's why our man. One of the reasons our man doesn't wear one. <laughs> but what you do need to see is gonna be right in front of you. Well, the good news is you won't be able to see me closing my eyes. That's <laughs> where you just ride off a field. <laughs> <laughs> make it stop, make it stop. It's good release. I don't know whose they are. I found them in the one of the bags in Rodeo Blues, and I brought them because I was gonna use the leathers. They're not worth a shit. I don't know whose they are. Those will get a hole. Nothing. nothing. Randall got on a bull here one day and used my spurs, and he made me change the rails. Out. Yeah. My luck out hanging dragon. He died. called me that morning. He said, I don't even know where my spurs are. I gotta find them. I was like, just wear mine. I mean, we got the same size feet. They're on my boots. You just wear my boots and spurs. I'm not riding in your rows. I had a dream last night. I was dragging around by my foot, and y'all weren't helping me. You just stand there laughing. I was like, I've changed the ride. Jesus. That's a terrible dream to have the night before you get on it. Yeah, I didn't have anything like that. You didn't have a dream like no, that? I died. Yeah. Well, you don't have to worry about dragging around with them. They'll get a hold of the bull. They don't. And if you do, we have 36 people that can jump in there. <laughs> yeah. You know Dale will get on the Most all of them, yeah, he'll bull on most of the rest of us got nice and cut you out. That's what happened in the last one. Right? If it comes down to me, yeah, though, man. That long. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just gut shot you with this to see if it's comparable. Just give you a little whoa. Would that hold me? Probably not. I'm pretty tough. Uh, this, if I hit you on this side, it would for what sure. What if you right here, yeah. baby? Yeah, this side. This side would set you down. The liver side, you just can't. As tough as you want to be, sometimes when you take those shots, you're like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm like, I've got like as a steel though. Mm -hmm. I don't know, my liver's pretty good. I pickled it. Pickled yeah. it, yeah. It's good to go. I might be like, I might have the hardest stomach cut of anybody you ever fought. Feel Let me that? See. Ah! <laughs> See, I was you cheap shot me because yeah. I thought you were coming the other way. <laughs> so I want that air between me. Daylight. Daylight. When it comes up, you drive up. When it goes down, you set the hill. Sure makes it look easy. Backbone, you want your pinky either on top of his backbone or right beside it. Okay, I, my arms are long as shit, so I'd always put mine beside it on this I side, yeah. this side beside it, never yeah. over this yeah. side. Okay, take okay, so this one lays on top of that one, and then what? Go behind your hand. Th this is bull riding for you. Think we ought to do it the way I did it? Yeah, however you want to do it. I, I, he he will be down to do that if you want yeah, to. Yeah, I know, but what's I don't want to drag him. Down to do what? Stick her up between Split your us. ring finger and pinky and tuck her down in there. What's that? That's a super grip. Pretty much. <laughs> super uh, grip. Now what do I do? Get up as close as I can here. Yep. And then just sit. Keep your back straight. And just sit like that. Come in when you're ready. Okay. How was you standing up getting the air? Drag your knees up a little more. Master your knees. And when you go up, yep. Okay. Yep. 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 Just kind of matching with all of this. Mm -hmm. Your knees, that's how I stand up. And I push on my arms. Okay. When it comes up. Push. Like bull riding, some, some of them will tell you lift, lift, lift. Some of them tell What's you lift? Push. Like lifting, it's not a lot of people pull. Uh huh. Pull, that, that's what happens when you pull. When you lift, it keeps your hips up under you. And when do we lift? So when it rears, you push. When it drops, you lift it back, tuck it back on. And are you. See, I always thought you wanted no movement, but apparently you want a lot of movement. You gotta, ain't nobody gonna outpower them things. Yeah. You gotta move with them. Like and fighting. I always say bull runs give and take. Yeah. Depends on what the bull is doing, what you need to do. Like if they're not kicking a whole lot and just flat, like they're back hitting, 
Like you'll, you'll lift more because that keeps your hips Back up. Back hitting. You got to talk to me like I'm an idiot. You can't use uh, well, ass in. Got it. If they're not kicking up, uh -huh. then you, you're going to, like, if they're just flat, their back never goes up and down. Like when they, if they don't kick. They like a cupcake? Like a Cup cupcake. Okay. Yeah. Like you'll lift more. All right. Because he's, he's not going to kick. So you lift and just keep your hips right up under you and just ride like that. But if you have one that's got some up and down, like and this is where your core comes in when you're trying to stay, and that's what this hand is. Play, core plays a big fucking part of it. And this hand is kind of the. That's your. That's the make or break you. Okay. This one don't do shit and hold on. Yeah. I mean you push and do like that, but that's it. This one. Why do you guys hold this way and not this way? Uh, there's some guys that's wrists are messed up that do ride that way. Like me. You so you can you can do it like this. Uh, they have, but it's a little harder. Hmm. Like he, he, he makes it work, but there's uh, only two guys I've ever seen do it. And it's because they had surgeries on their wrist. That's a minor, yeah. minor, a lot. Like the pain is just doing that little bit right there. I was like, ooh. Don't wait forward. Drive up that way. Okay. Chin down. Look right there in that red button. Drive up. Okay. Just want to keep your back straight at all times. Jagger, you want to show us? Come on, Jagger. I need to tuck my chin like him. He'll go either way, to the left or right. Whether he goes to the right or to the left, when he does turn back, he's still going to be moving forward. forward. So you've got to have the mechanics of riding that forward motion down. Got it. Now, if he goes back to the right, you're going to drop your elbow down and put a little more weight on the inside leg. If he goes back to the left, then you're going to brace against that and you're going to pick that free hand up and tilt that pressure on this inside leg. You've got to be ready to go either way. Regardless, it's going to be way different than a uh, mechanical bullet to PBR bar because that is on, it's sitting on a piece of pipe. Yeah. And so when it turns back, it just turns like this. But a bull is going to have to go, he's basically going in a circle. Right. And how fast saying. they turn back, it might be a small circle, but it's still going forward. So that's why this is good because like, yes, it is just your forward motion, your up and down motion, but essentially, no matter which direction they go, they're going to have some of that. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Keep riding! Keep riding! Keep riding! Yeah. 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 He's short, so... You really don't have nowhere to put your feet. It's kind of hard, so you got to just. I mean, you're ready. You won't ride up on it because the bull's always going to leave in a forward motion. Yeah. When he turns out of here, it's going to be forward, so everything's going to go away from you. The way I know it, I'd jump to him. I'd slide and go all at once. So I had one. I, them guys at rodeos or bull ridings, they knew when I laid my tail up here and I did like this, I was getting ready to nod all in the yeah. same. And so I would. It's kind of harder on him because he's so short. Yeah. yeah. But I would nod and yeah. go hit. So when I nod, they trip. When I hit here, everything was already going. And the only reason is because I felt like if I slid up, because you'll see guys, they'll get up here and they'll get hunkered down. Well, I always felt like if I did that, I was sitting on my ass. I was sitting flat yeah. instead of moving with them. Right. Oh, still there, I don't think I'd jump to him. <laughs> I might have a slide out a little easier. Because uh -huh. them bulls like that, they'll get hair triggered in there. They'll know, they know the game. Yeah. Yeah, you also don't want to be yelling. Like if you were going to talk to the gate man, be like, all right, boys, like say it in like a normal tone voice. Because like, like he said, like twist his seal with however many ounces he has. You go, ah, 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 ah. he's just going to. Yeah, you can do that yeah, too. And them bulls are getting smart. Like the more they've been bucked, I'll try to cheat you and shit. And yeah. He was pushed up against like in the, like, see how his butt's not on that slide? He's standing square in here. He was backed up against that slide. I could feel him pushing back, just mashing on it. And I told him, I said, just rattle that slide and try to get him to take a step forward to get off of it. And somebody reached over, did like that, and they touched him. I wasn't paying attention and he kicked and my head went into the wood slide, knocked me smooth out. <laughs> I was falling down in there with him. Luckily, they grabbed me. Put that, put that, get that free hand up on that top. There you go. That's perfect. Good start. All right. Yeah. 
It seemed like you got tipped into your I hand did, just right a little, right and then you just sat up like you were a bull rider. Well, then I uh, said, sit with my knees and like follow it. Well, I can tell when you like thought about it. Bull two, right now we're uh, bulls two, cowboys zero. So I feel it, I feel it up in my. I was right. Feel yeah, I, I felt up. I was able to pull and come back. Okay. I felt it the inside, but wasn't able to come. Back. I wish this pad was a little longer. But I don't have three and back there. He's doing great. That's when you know you're trying. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're <laughs> on your feet. You didn't <laughs> Grab that right there, drop that elbow inside. Leave, leave out of here with him, big chest. Big chest. Go ahead. Go with it, go with it, go with it. Go with it. Bo Rad is a game of punches. <laughs> Slide. Right. Yeah. A hunchback. Got it. Bow that chest out. I always say bow the chest out and show him the buckle. So the other thing too is like when you do hit the ground, you gotta be rolling out of the way. Okay. There was like a there was like a moment where you kind of waited. Yeah, I was watching you see what you kind of watched it. Get back over there. Keep Big chest, big chest, big chest. That was not a good grip. Well, you wanted to, but then as soon as you come up on the trunk, you let go of it. Rodeo time at the beaches, old son. We're at Bucktown. Got Cowboy Cerrone twisting them. So are the interns. I've been teaching them everything I know. Actually, it ain't working. Actually, it ain't working, apparently. JB's really been more of the point man in my defense. So maybe when I take over, he's doing great. How many, how many world champions this guy won? All of them. Oh, all of them. See for yourself. I don't know. Read it and weep, old son. When? when? This year, baby. We need, to work on, we need to work on what do we do for the first second. Well, what you do for the first second is what you're going to do in the whole ride. Right. Because it's all forward motion. Okay. You know what I mean? That's what those two moves that he's talking about, when that, when that front end comes up, that's when you've got to go to the front. And then after it comes up, it's going to drop. And as it drops, his hind end is going to kick. And that's when you slam your hips forward into your bull rope. No, I'm not doing either. I'm just, I'm just sitting back here on my butt. And you're also a little twisted. A lot twisted. So it's hard to be, it's hard to make that square motion. We're not worried about the spin right now. Right. You know, when they drop away from your hand, you're going to drop your elbow down, put a little weight on the inside. But when they're turning back and twisted still go either way, when he's turning back, he's still going, going forward. forward. And that's why you, you got to master this bull going forward. And when you can do that, then you'll make your adjustments as they're turning back either way. So getting on your horse, getting on the drop barrel, working out, JB will stand on a medicine ball. Those are all super good to do, but it's like, it's like, this is your sparring. For sure. That's the closest thing to fighting. For sure. Like actually fighting. Yeah. You know, the punching bag is only gonna be so realistic. You know what I'm saying? A thousand percent, I know what you're saying. Yeah, of course you know. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. With that analogy, better not do. I didn't really want to do that anyways. Good job, Jay. I just thought I should. Drop that elbow down just a little, and now whenever you leave out of there, it just comes off the chute straight. Okay. Now go with him, go with him. Yes, sir, yes, sir. You rolled out of there better. Yeah. You know what, can we put him in again? Yeah, of course. I started coming this way, and you are like, don't ever go off the bowl this way. I've been thinking, I'm that gonna, you were gonna get hung up? Yeah, it like got in my mind. So halfway through that ride and not fighting to ride it. I, I definitely didn't explain it to you trying to fear, you know, put fear in you at all. It's it's yeah, just a real- jump, I started going this way and then all of a sudden, that's all I thought about. Oh, I feel it doing that. And then I just went into 
smoke. Yeah, we'll fix it. I'm glad I'm glad you know now. I mean, that was free. You know what I'm saying? What do you mean you're glad you know now what? I'm glad you know now. Yeah, I know that I was a right there, and I hate that. Like, but, load that up again. I hate that feeling. But I'm saying, like, that can be the last time that it happens, and it was free. This is yeah. a practice pin. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm just saying, as soon as I went, you got in my mind this morning, you are talking about a phone over and you're getting hung up. And as soon as I felt that, that's all I thought about. Like, oh, oh, oh. And I went into like panic mode. And I ended up going that way anyways. But I'm saying the second half of that ride was, there was no, nothing I did right. I just, I got, I, I went into mode and I, whew, let's go again. Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy oh, because when you stood up, you sat there for a second and you were quiet and it must have been you processing all that. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yes, sir. You were focused on fighting, yeah. which is really good. Right. And this is the counterintuitive part. Like right. your intuition is for your second hand to come down and you're fighting that, mm -hmm. but like you've got to do that move that we did on the barrel. Right. That's what he meant when he said, go to the front. Okay. And that's him I going. Go to the front, go to the front. And I got it. There's glimpses of you getting your free hand back up. It just, it's not going to help you down here. Was, I felt it pull me down and I came back, baby step. How do you feel? Are you loose? Do you want you another one? I'm tight and I'm fucking sore and I'm beat up, but we're gonna do more. You want more? Cause we, I say, yeah. I say we run them in, like you said, before you get real tight. I'm sore, but I know this is just part of the deal. So we're gonna ride bowls today. And we're gonna ride them tonight. We're just gonna keep Whenever you're it. ready. Yes, sir. Now go, get up there. Yeah. yeah. Night Bucky Out, bull number eight, coming to you, rodeo time, Cerrone getting ready for Twisted Steel, baby. Do you feel more ready than when we started? Uh, shoot procedure wise, I feel like it's not all new to me. There's not, now, now I have that part down. Now I know this trip, I'm gonna try and reach out over the head. Okay, go to the front. Go to the front, I'm gonna try and Use your free arm. and pull, reach and pull. Go to the front, lift on your bull rope. Yep. Go to the front. Lift on your bull rope. On his last bull, you saw him drop his free hand down like this. We want him to use it to his advantage this time. Use it for balance. Get it up here uh, rather than because when you come down here, Can't it's run. you get top heavy. But he rides a lot of horses, and when you ride horses, you've got both hands down low. So we're gonna break that habit. We got you loaded. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go. Get up there. Get up there. Get up there. I'm in front of you. Free arm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's it. Much better, much better. When you get into your hand, it's tough to get back over there. When you're away from your hand, you can lift with your bull rope. Right. When you're into your hand, it's really tough to make that move back. You gotta shuffle your hips, you gotta jump to the front, you gotta jump at them. But those first four jumps, that was way better. Your free arm was much more in control. Like you were, you were like, you looked more like a bull rider. So the, I felt good as I was focusing on this. Towards the end though, when you got tipped into your hand, like that's a tough move. Right. That's really tough. I'm not saying don't work on it. I am saying though, let's celebrate those first four jumps. We can work on the last two. Right. But the first four, you're just, you're getting it, you're more in control. I felt when it came out, I pulled down, like I finally like set in there before I come out on my bed and I'm already like hopping in behind the clock. That, I felt better. Yeah, you've got to stay off your pockets. Yeah. Like if you think about just literally the pockets of your jeans, yep. you don't want them sitting on the bull. They gotta be up off the bull, riding on the inseams. You wanna think about riding right, on I your- I need the rock and roll denim. You need some rock and roll denim, baby. You That's what I'm talking about.